Ooh, he just looks so hot. Hey guys, Tyan here, and welcome to the I Love You Colonel Sanders and Finger Licking Good Dating Simulator. I hate my Twitter, but they wanted this, so I'm doing it. Let's get into it. Before we get started, tell us your name. Let's see. You know what? I'm gonna go something real stupid in honor of the season finale. There we go. <laughs> let's, let's call ourselves Twilight Sparkle for whatever reason, but eh, fuck it. Oh, please don't keep freezing on me. Here we go. Come on. Does this app not do good with recording? There we go. Alright, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Aw, oh, shit, I'm a student? I wonder how to fucking work in KFC. I can't afford shit! <laughs> oh, I have to click to move on, okay. The world is peaceful, peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Yeah, you're a student, so, you know, <laughs> good luck with that. Or you can wake up now, 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 now! Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, I go to culinary school. Is it like Tosuke Academy? Am I going to Tosuke Academy for KFC? That would be fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> extrovert versus introvert. Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. This is what every millennial wants to say, but we gotta get up and at him. That way. Oh, for real? You did that? Yeah. Like, I, knew. <laughs> I, knew I see you here. <laughs> I was working. Oh, okay. I wonder why Doc came running back there to the way to the bed. Did you let her out? No. Nah. Because someone opened the gate to let her out, and she was because I saw her back there barking. I said, I was like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, I can't. She, uh, I, that's what we were just saying. Like, she's back there fucking with the dogs. But we, I didn't know you was back there. Yeah, that's the only reason she'd be going back there is if no, I was. Follows, yeah, she follows me everywhere. Yeah. Ain't that right, baby? Ain't that right, baby? I can't wonder why she was way back there, but I didn't know you was back there. Yeah, if she's back there, it's yeah. guaranteed I'm back there. Yeah. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, Wait, thinking. Is she there? Yeah. Thinking about what awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. They could not have come up with a better name for that. I see. Your mind begins to wonder. <laughs> Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Okay, in this, like me, okay, in this, we're going to be a girl just like I am in real life, okay? No, I'm not.
It's here, finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Oh, this game is going to make me hungry for some dang KFC. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door and are... Oh. oh, okay. 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 This game's already stupid. Oh, you're... Why would I grab a biscuit? I thought this was an anime game. Why wouldn't I grab a pizza? Uh, it's also a KFC game, so that makes more sense. <laughs> oh, cool. Mmm, delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. <laughs> Why did that look so good? <laughs> that looks so good. Oof. Mm. Oh, sorry, I was eating left here. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. Uh, well, are they using magnificent as a descriptive word? Because uh, if they are, that should be capitalized. Here comes your lifelong best friend for every. Miriam! I have a best friend named Miriam. I already hate my life. Oh my gosh, she's cute! What the hell? Why is she that cute? She is the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. This is me! This is me! This is literally me! What the hell? Oh my god, they put me in the game! I love it! Good morning, Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? <laughs> oh, I remember this. I had my mic muted. I was yelling at my little brother. I'm sorry. But with the, with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up! You're afraid of being left behind in a school that only has three-day long semesters. How? How would you fail that Badly to be left behind on a three-day only semester. What the? F what the hell? And what kind of school only offers three-day only semesters? I want to go to that school. I would have did a lot better. I would have did a lot better in school 
If I only had to go for three days every semester, that would have been bougie. A sweet girl, BRM has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped the tooth practicing on a mannequin. Okay, it's just like, call me out, why don't you? Okay. I, I see. You're just gonna call me out like that. It's fine. Should you pet talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Pet talk your best friend! Remember last month when you saw that fortune teller had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Oh! Oops, I just skipped a whole bunch of dialogue out accident. I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fella I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we will be graduating and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. Oh, okay, after watching Food Wars and having to play this and waiting for season four of Food Wars, everything is going to make me hungry. Like, I'm so, I need a spicy famous bowl right now. Too bad I don't have money on my card or I door dash that shit. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have the, these killer bangs. Yes, you do, Miriam. Yes, you do. You can definitely believe it. Uh, uh, I cannot believe it. Before you get another word out, you're really interrupting when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Who the fuck do I gotta kick ass now? Hey! Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello, dating some wafu. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. I mean, look at those boobs! She can give me all the time. Oof, my game meter is going off the charts. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you that chicken shins. And, okay, Ashley's Scottish. I don't give a shit now. You leave Twilight Sparkle sins alone. The puff look at normal sins. And a couple variants. What kind of name is Von Von the Man Man? Van Van the Man Man. Oh, Jesus Christ, this game is already getting to me. I'm not even past the 20 minute mark. <laughs> Ahem! Von Von! Oh, you rang rang? Nah, that's the perfect voice for this dude. You've never been sure of what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known. Them Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I cannot believe the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just had us all diplomas now? Or maybe hire us as honest professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. 
With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Midian! Psh. See you later, losers! As it approaches the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. You're creepy. I don't like you. Uh, oops, this. I think it's broken. Yeti's four and easily pull the door open. That should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag said, clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop on Twilight Sparkle! So... Are you gonna make me hold this door open all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. This is, is it just me? Is he kinda cute? It's just you, Miriam. I think it's just you. See? I know what's up. I'm predicting what I will say before I say it. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium in front of the class. Adorable! And my teacher's a dog. His name is Sprinkles! Now, now, cut it down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our coronary, coronary, culinary class? I cannot talk. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of US, UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as, you sw as the swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then, he walks in. Oof. Daddy. You're immediately swept up in an aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It's him. It's... It isn't my favorite student. Harlan, Colonel Sanders, and Arrest Spiegel. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur whirls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down an aisle of desk. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be the must be sweaty sweats a lot. Hey, maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pitch melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on a second, nobody talks to my friend like that. You get him, Miriam. Shit, I keep skipping dialogue. I suck at this. Besides, when Twilight Sparkle sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer! <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't with this. I can't with this shit. It's so dumb! Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom is hotter than a Kentucky Fryer. Please, use my handkerchief. To freeze up, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Oh, daddy, yes. That's just, this is gonna be my new background for a while. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if you 
never forgets this moment. How will you respond? And like that, I think that's a good stopping point here. So let's go to the title screen. Wait. Okay, I think once you go to the title screen, it's safe. So let's go to the title screen. All right.